so dark. Hello. I don't know why the camera is doing what it's doing. It's a piece of crap. That's a $200 fucking camera. <coughs> I mean, seriously. It's junk. <coughs> but, hello. You may be wondering, what am I going to talk about this week? What should I talk about? Should I talk about wrestling? Should I talk about wrestling? Because this is a wrestling show where I talk about wrestling. So it's pretty much going to have to do with wrestling. I want to talk about Maurice. The greatest diva who ever lived. I love you, Maurice. You are my soulmate. I am absolutely madly in love with you. I know we're meant to be together, Maurice. Yeah, you snubbed me at that autograph session last week. But I know, you could feel it inside of you when I got near, couldn't you? You could feel it inside of you. How we're meant to be together. We're soulmates. We're like two babies in the womb who are separated at birth. But are meant to come back together and be together and fly and roam free. We're like Luke and Leia only, not brother and sister, but meant to be together for all eternity. And I love you, Maurice. I've even tried to get a lock of your hair, because i got this locket to put around my neck with it in, but I can't find one. So if anyone has a lock of her hair, I'd love you to send it to me, so I can put it in my locket around my neck. I wrote you some letters. I, I, I guess you're too busy to write back. But, um, don't worry about that. I still love you. I'm still madly in love with you, Maurice. You're the greatest person ever. I mean, you're so kind, and, and sweet, and Canadian. I mean, we could live together forever, Maurice. We could live in Ohio, where I'm from. It's kind of like Montreal, only not as cold. Or, or we could live in Montreal, where you're from. I could learn French. Watch, I'm already learning. Bonjour. Parlez-vous français. Fenitra. See, I already know some French. Uh, I don't know any Spanish, and you know Spanish, but I don't know any Spanish, so, except for, uh, Yo Quiero Taco Bell. But I love you, Maurice. I'm madly in love with you. We're gonna be together forever. You and I. Don't worry about it. I'll find you. We'll find each other. You don't need to answer me right away. I know we're meant to be together. So just go on with your career, and we'll be together later. You can have my children. I could have your children, but they haven't perfected that surgery yet, except in that movie by Arnold Schwarzenegger. But, so you'd have to have my children, but don't worry. We'll keep your last name. I'll even change my last name to your last name, so I'll be Steve Olet. Same as the children, because I'm in love. I love you, and, and we're together. And I know you got to screw with me sometimes, like not answering my letters, uh, not giving me a lock of your hair, uh, frowning, arresting me that one time for taking pictures of you, um, and, and, you know, snubbing me at that autograph session. But I, I know you got to mess with me, but that's just the way life is. I, I mean, but I love you. And we're meant to be together. I know we are. I can feel it in your heart. And I can feel it in my heart. You can feel it in your heart. We can all feel it together. It's wonderful. And I wrote you a song. Maurice, you're like a peach. You're a queen. But you're not mean. Or 112 like Queen Elizabeth. But Maurice, you are a peach. You have blonde hair and not a care and long legs and like five foot ten and live in Miami but I could move to Miami with you I've always wanted to live in Florida or if you've got a boyfriend we can have a very open relationship you can continue to date other people and have sex with them and and you know what I'll, I'll just be true and faithful to you because I absolutely love you and I'd do anything to make you happy anything and you do the same for me you don't have to tell me I know it 
Don't worry, we'll be together. Maurice? I just tried calling you, but you don't answer your phone. Oh yeah, I bought your number and address from your garbage man. That's how I know where you live. And what your phone number is, but you didn't answer your phone. But don't worry, I forgive you. Because I love you. And so I forgive you for not answering your phone when I call. Because I know you're probably busy at the gym or wrestling. So I forgive you. But we have a lot in common that I forgot to tell you about. Uh, you are a model. I know models. A lot of them. I also build models. Uh, preferably Star Wars. So we have a lot in common in that. Uh, you grew up in Montreal. I grew up in Ohio. It's pretty much the same weather and the same people because, let's face facts, Canada and U.S. are a lot alike. You have blonde hair. My hair was blonde as a child. See, we're soulmates. Just think of all the things we have in common. Uh, you were Divas champion. I was the intergender champion for a while. Uh, you, you're a wrestler. I enjoy watching wrestling. Uh, you like to work out. I like to work out. Never. But still, we can work on that. We can work on that. Because we have a lot of other things in common. We both like to watch Family Guy. We both like to drink Coke. Because you like it because Coke's the only soft drink available in Canada. Um, see, we have a lot in common. I forgive you for not answering my phone or my letters. I forgive you because I love you and I gotta forgive you for the things you've done against me. Because I love you and I know we're meant to be together. We're meant to be together because Maurice, you're such a peach. You're the queen. But you're not okay, me. I just finished writing you another letter. Hopefully you get this one and you reply to me. You know, cause because we're meant for each other, Maurice. We really are. I mean this is the I mean this is like the third letter I've sent you this week. Actually it's the fourth letter I've sent you this week. Along with leaving you a voicemail, uh three voicemails today. I know we're meant for each other. You shouldn't ignore me. We're meant for each other. We're like soulmates. And you know what? We could go into wrestling together. We could be the first intergender tag team championships, you know, the mixed tag team t champions with a man and a woman. You could do your, your DDT, I could do the heel kick, or I could do your DDT, or I could do both, and you can do both, but we gotta get a finisher. We gotta get a really great finisher. Maybe I kick them and then you DDT them, that would be awesome. And we could do it, we could become the tag team champions. Uh, because we're meant for each other. First husband and wife tag team championships. It would be great because we're just so meant for each other. And we'd be so in sync as a tag team. And so in sync as people. We're just so in sync. We're like two people who are connected somehow through the universe. Who are connected. We're soulmates. Only we're greater than that. We have more in common than that. We're greater than soulmates. We're just destined. I mean, I'm going to have to invent a word here. Uh... Soul something or other. We're destined. We're like the greatest people who should be together. We sh should be together. Maybe I should come down to Florida where you live. I should visit you. Maybe I'll visit you. No, you're probably on the road right now. I should visit you on the road. Uh, I gotta have to. I'm gonna look up where you're at next week. And I'll go there and we'll visit you. And, and we'll get together and be together. Because we're soulmates, Maurice. We're soulmates.